So I'm talking today only about Shakti Bija, okay? So there are literally mantras for everything, okay? Literally. And that is true in Kabbalah also. That is true in, in Druidic traditions. That is true in all traditions that there are words for everything, right? Sounds that manifest different realities. They're there. Shakti mantras are mantras, bija mantras, that act from kundalini. That means they act as powers from inside you and tapping into outside you, coming into you. They are the more your nadis open, the more your chakras open, the more this opens, the more you have the ability to invoke these bead sounds to do what you want them to do. Does that make sense? So why do I wake up Kundalini first or my nadis and clear them? So that when I manifest a new sound or a new thought, it is better chances of becoming real. This is why Kundalini must be awakened or Kundalini should be aware of Kundalini. And that's why the inner Shakti must, the flute must play. This is why we do this work. So that we want to create magic, right? Yes, you can create magic by chanting the sounds and eventually it'll work. But if your Kundalini is awakened and you chant the sound, wai, yay, 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 yay. Hallelujah everything can become real. So I'm going to talk about the Shakti Bijas. There are 10 Shakti Bijas we work with, but I'll come to that in a second. This is from Garland of Letters, Varna Mala, with John Woodruff, the same guy who did the, uh, the, 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 uh, the Kundalini book has done this one also, which he says in that, he says, the Bija is the seedling of the mantra. Bija literally means seed. And it is a seed from this seedling that shoots of the science of mantra spread. That means from having a seed thought energy construct, mantra becomes like a tree blossoming. The energy of any mantra lies in its seed, Bija. The chanting of a mantra is efficacious only if an appropriate bija is selected, the bijas activate the deity of that mantra. And he says to her, O oh Parvati, I'll tell you the divine nature of bijas. Mere pronunciation of a bija mantra causes the manifestation of the deity at that site or location. Bijas are also extremely useful from the physical and psychological point of view. When pronouncing bijas, a particular frequency is generated leading to the production of specific sound waves. Spread of these waves activate certain centers and chakras in the body, which in turn facilitate the proper flow of vital energies, pranas, through the channels. It is said that chanting of a bija mantra helps to achieve a healthy body, pure mind, increase in mental and psychic energy, and sharp intellect, etc. So, when we think about the nature of Bij, this is the real magical way of incantation in Tantra. The real power lies in the Bij. The malas that we form are compositions of Bijas that come together to create power or invocation, or grace into me, right? Isn't that beautiful? So here's the formula, okay? The seed is a consonant mixed with a vowel and mixed with either an inhalation or an exhalation, right? And in Sanskrit, that is bija, is shiva, and Shakti and Visarga or Anuswara. One of the rules in mantra, ideally mentally or physically, is to most 
mala mantra start with an om because it brings the pranic energy into your body om brings shiva's prana into you and you end a mantra normally you can do it with different sounds so um ending has closes a mantra so for example we know that namaha is a very popular one for us because it's a greeting of surrender to the goddess and it becomes the serene and peaceful state of the antakaran appeasing in inner being appeasing the deity of the mantra by surrendering to it namaha shri matri namaha swaha swaha means to i surrender not only to my to the uh, god or goddess but i surrender to the fire and i appease the deity with my offerings to the fire and i destroy harmful energies as well swaha swada these are less used ones but we have used them swada is self contentment strengthening one self swada vashat is a spiritual or emotional of blocking and removing the enemy or negative forces vushat any t ending is like a ending of negative forces to send negative forces and enemies into chaos so they can't harm you hum or hum is hum is shiva and hum is shakti hum is to invoke shiva or to terrify negative forces away to drive them away like hum must try a fat and fat is to take them all and shoot me to the other side with no obstacles or hindrances directly to the other side right these are ways to end so when you chant any mantra you are the temple your body is the temple and if you remember from a previous class i showed you this diagram that you create a mandala that you are the temple that you are drawing an eight sided lotus around you you first draw a six figure triangle around and you stand in the middle the bindu is you and you form two triangles one pointing east and one pointing west this is shiva and shakti union you are standing in the middle and you are then surrounded by eight petals to surround the eight directions the east the west the south the north the northwest and so on the eight cardinal and eight in between directions you're surrounded by circles and then an eight pointed star around you this is your mandala when you stand anywhere or sit in meditation you become this mandala you don't need to have a temple you don't need to have an ashram you can just do it anywhere and create your own mandala and light your inner fire the bindu and you go into union of your kundalini of ida and pingala in yourself and you create a sacred kaula mandala right this is the way to do it and you also do the pancha substances so these are the ancient kaula technique of liberating yourself by freeing yourself of the limitations of your mental boundaries and in the old days in india if you know if you took alcohol or you took meat or you ate fish or you smoked you know hallucinogenic plants or marijuana or datura or you had sex those were considered to be fringe challenging the norms of society so what would you do to ecstatically experience the bliss of the mother so in tantra and kaula what they say is that you 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 eat you drink alcohol to be intoxicated by the bliss of the mother you so you don't drink alcohol you just intoxicated by her bliss the mamsa is the kind of uh, the 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 khichdi of putting meat into tongue in the back of your throat matsya is to fish like swim like a fish in the cosmic ocean of continuous bliss mudra is to be worship a sacred feminine in everything in plant in medicine in woman in man anything is a sacred worshiping of bliss in the other person in the other and sexual union is to dissolve dualities to become one in the middle that's the whole principle that's why you do the five ms so what are these 10 key sounds right and i'll just quickly show you the spectrum here it goes from aum to aim to rhim to shreem to cream to claim hum claim stream dream 
These are the 10 key sounds of the garland of letters of the Shakti Bija mantras, the power mantras. We also use mantras like frame and soul, but we won't talk about them today. Let me stop for a second. How's everyone doing? Is it a good trip? It's a good trip, right? See, what we're doing is we're paring down to the fundamentals, right? We're going from all this elaborate cosmology to nothingness. And I'm getting you to nothingness through all these means, you know. That's what we're trying to do is to get to nothingness. But it's nice to build architecture around nothingness, right? It's nice to build a kind of, oh, yeah, that's a nice building. All right, that looks nice. And then off you go again to nothingness. You know, it's a nice structure. That's all it is, right? So, Ao in Shakti, the Oi Ao sound is ascent, which means yes, 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 like orgasmic almost. That means Om is the pranic source energy of Shiva, masculine energy. But ascent is feminine, which pulls Kundalini by agreeing to awaken. A, a, a feminine energy must agree to awaken. This is very powerful medicine to understand that it's chanting Aum in Shakti is to say, Aum, I agree. And then mm, I dissolve into you. So I have to agree to receive consciousness, to receive the phallus, to receive the power, to receive the male, to receive the other. I have to agree to this. And this is Aum. So we're not doing the masculine of Om, of Brahma, Vishnu, and, and Rudra, but Ao, oh, we're agreeing to do this. So Om, Aum is more powerful because it permeates everything. It is the energy of the sun. It clears negative energy in space. And it, it should be ideally, before you start any mantras, do a few Ohms and then go into it. You know, Om always starts all mantras to clear the energy path brings prana in. And Aum is the unmanifest nature of the first sound. That means Ao is the beginning of manifestation, mm, dissolution. So Aum is the first Shakti mantra. The second Shakti Bij mantra is Aim. Aim. The flow, Aim. The feminine Shakti aspect of Om. Aim is the vowel sounds in all sounds. Prana, source, energy in sound. It is the power in sound to make anything happen. It is the sound of Adi Shakti, the feminine principle. The first mother. It is the Bija of Saraswati. Learning, art, creativity, education. It is also the Bija of the Guru or the highest stream of consciousness that pours into you from the gurus above. Aim is motivation, direction, intention, focus. Eem, that E sound. I improves your health in your throat, your voice and your vocal cords and makes you speak beautifully, sing beautifully. All that stuff comes with Aim. And in astrology, Aim is Mercury and the moon, communication, expression. And in Vastu, in your architecture, it clears the environment for learning and wisdom. So when you chant just I'm, you are dealing with pure download of information. If you want to learn something, if you want to get knowledge, if you want to become a better communicator, to speak well, to design well, to make beautiful things, to create things in the world, then Aim is both Saraswati and Matangi in the Dash Mahavidya. She is both. That means she is both the Shama that can create everything and can make universes with sound. So when you meditate on Aim, you are creating new universes for yourself, right? It is like we saw earlier in the meditation I did with you today. Just from that nothingness, if I paint with an eye, something magical begins to percolate out there. You know, it's like an eye, eye. 
And literally, you can just sit there all day and chant I'm and see what happens. You know, they say that if you chant I'm 10,000 times, Ma Saraswati will appear. So, there's a challenge for you. You want Ma Saraswati to come and give you knowledge, do it 10,000 times and see what happens. <laughs> but with feeling, with passion, that means not I'm, 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 are you coming yet? Have you come yet? I'm, 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 no. It's I'm. From that Turiya, I'm, I'm, I'm. Isn't that beautiful? Hreem is the power of the sun, solar energy. Hreem in everything to do with creation. That means the making of this power that required to make everything. Ha indicates prana, space and light, the power of prana to come into everything. Ra indicates fire, light and dharma. And E, I, E indicates energy, focus and movement towards something. So when you combine the two together and end it with the Anuswara, um, Harim, you get the full power of Shiva, Mother, all in one, bam. That's why Harim is the most common Bij mantra in Shakti mantras. It's everywhere, right? I'm Harim, Shreem, I'm Kleem, so it's everywhere. Ha. And sa are everywhere. Ha, huh? Shiva coming into being, into consciousness. Sha, going back into grace of consciousness from energy. Hreem is Parvati or Mahamaya, Bhuvaneshwari, Three Devi, all the mother goddesses of the cosmos and the earth. She's all of that. Hreem is the sound of magic, of force, of captivation, of empowerment. Hri purifies us and raises us to our quest. So, Hari is the sound of the heart chakra, Ridhaya. That's why if I focus on my right nipple, I am activating the Ridhaya of Hreem and left is Ida, Shreem. So, Hreem and Shreem are two sides and Kleem are all in the heart. All three are really in the heart, even though Hreem happens to feel like a third eye exploding. It's actually in the heart. It's the Ridhaya. It purifies us in the heart. It activates the heartbeat, the flow of blood, the flow of energy in me. All that comes from Reem. So Reem is the energy that keeps me alive and prana going through me. Reem activates, improves my health through the heart. Reem is the sun and the solar energy of the heart and vitality. Sun gazing in the morning is Reem. Reem, soft if it's chanted softly, it increases your subtle consciousness energy. Hreem, hreem, hreem. But if I do it powerfully, hreem, 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 I can literally take over your mind. That's how it works. It's hypnotic. Right? So be, be aware of the power of hreem. In subtle ways like Hreem, Hreem, Hreem. So when you say, Ka -e -e -la -hreem, right? Then it is like a, oh, I'm Hreem, Kleem, Chamunda, Eviche. It is sensual and soft and subtle. If you go power, it is like a force of prana pushing into action. You become Durga, Dum, all that starts happening for you. So Hreem works in both ways, right? Shreem, my favorite, my personal favorite. Shreem is lunar. It is the moon. Attracts grace, beneficence, and all that is good. Shreem is positive splendor, luminous golden moon. Dot. Shreem and Hreem go together for sun and moon, or new moon and cream also go together. New moon and full moon. So Shreem and Hreem and Shreem and cream go together. Shreem is Lakshmi, abundance and benevolence. Shreem is also surrender. 
Shri is splendor or luminous beauty. Shri is the ruler of the heart, the center of Ridhaya of the give and take. And it makes everything better. Ah, you can't go wrong with Shreem. Shreem is the power mantra. Shreem is the moon and activated by Venus and Jupiter. Shreem has a soothing effect on the mind and emotions, allowing us to surrender to divine grace and to take refuge in higher self. That's the core why Shreem is the, one of the most important of these mantras. Cream is Kali, electric power, the energy of the universe of instant lightning, electricity, power, the Tesla power force in you is cream. You know, Ka represents power, Kundalini, the initial blast of energy. Ra represents, indicates fire, like we saw before, light. E, energy, focus, direction, motivation. Cream is the full, most important consonant mantra there is. Cream, Ka, cream, and it brings Kali the Shakti of time and alchemical transformation. Kri is ruling over space, time and causality. It destroys karma, the sound Kri. Kri. Kriim is called the Vidyut Shakti. That means instant energization of everything. If you call Kriim, you watch out. Everything will be removed. You will be instantly blasted to the other side. Kriim is the Bija of yoga. So when you want to do yoga, Yoga means union. You shut down the body, shut down the mind with cream. Right? Cream is, releases adrenaline and power in the healing and wind and fire in you. It's Mars as work and effort. And it's a power mantra. And if you add it with whom, like cream, 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 whom, whom, cream, cream, my God, how much more power do you want than that? So just think about it, right? When you combine cream, with Harim and whom you are literally asking for trouble because you are telling the universe, I'm ready. Right? Now, this is not the loving Lakshmi, Mother Mary coming and holding you and kissing you. No. This is the mother who says, you ready? All right, let's go. Immediately. So, but cream is very good when people are messing with you. There are two sounds, two beat sounds that are critical in messing with you. One is cream and the other is halim. Right? The sound of Bagla Mukhi, which we're coming to. So if you want people to piss off, you cream. If you want people to clear the path for you, cream. If you want to be courageous and fearless, cream. If you need help and you need people to come and cut off heads and remove obstacles, cream. Does that make sense? But be careful because everything that is obstacle to you will be removed. Including partners, family members, everything can be in the obstacle in the path. So be careful what you ask for because you will get it. <laughs> That's why we shream, because shream is loving, kind. And also, you later see stream and trim are there also. That means Kali, but the kinder version of Kali, stream in Tara, right, is there. Okay, everybody with me so far? Don't fall asleep now. Come on, we're almost there. Clean is the also is the opposite feeling of cream, but equally powerful. Cream attracts. Cream is the sound of erotic love, of gentle lovemaking, of passion, of pulling things towards you, 
of attracting things towards you. You know, the, it's a watery, swadhisthanai, liquidy feeling in the heart. And it's kind of a dance between the liquid feeling of the swadhisthana and the throat and the tongue. And the, it's a dance. And Kleem is called the Akarshana Shakti, the instant attractor. It draws everything to you and holds it in place. So you just go, <gasps> you just go into orgasmic bliss with Kleem. Kleem is the sound of Krishna and Tripura Sundari or Kameshwari as Tripura Sundari and attracts grace. So she, it is the lover. It is the power of union. It's the Kama Bija, means the sexual desire and fulfillment. It's the mantra of love and devotion. It's the power to make desires and wishes come true. So Kleem can be used to make really wish for things, you know. Uh, and then you do Shreem to make it happen. It improves your sexuality, your skin, your glow, your flow. Everything gets better. Your, your, your bladder, your kidney, everything gets better with clean. Clean is all the bladder. It's all those areas down there. It makes everything flow, you know, the yoni linga, the prostate, all the stuff for men and women that need to flow. Clean is the beautiful one, you know, and it brings design, divine love and beauty into a dwelling. And it's also a powerful aphrodisiac. And it, but it can be used to, 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 to make an audience feel wonderful, to keep everybody in trance. You know, if I wanted all of you to have a beautiful orgasmic feeling and be in trance with me, I could clean internally and all of you would go into that state. You know, it's a clean, I'm clean, so... So Tripura Sundari's Bij Mantra is actually clean. Most people don't know that. They think it's I'm clean, so or kai It's clean. Kameshwari. Clean. All right. Hum. There are two forms of hum. One is hum and whom. Hum is Shiva. Hum is Shakti. Hum is the power of fire and the sword. That means it's the throat cutting. It is the throat, the akasha. The dissolving of the ego at the throat is the sword that cuts off all attachment. It is the serpent fire that raises kundalini. It adds fiery power to other mantras. So when you say hum astraya fat or cream, 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 hum, hum, cream, cream, you are adding fire to everything. Hum astraya fat. It is the dhenu bija. It is also nurturing because dhenu means the the mother cow that looks after the calf, but also fights anybody who comes to touch her calf, beat them up. It's Durga in a way. It's Durga, right? It's kind of Durga-esque. And whom is the third eye opening to destroy worlds or obstacles? It's stages, it's prana, raises the fire to increases your vitality, but it also detaches you from reality. Whom is fire? So it controls the sun, Mars, and Ketu. And whom protects the home against negative energies. So that's why we do always hum asraya fat. Hum, hum, asraya is a weapons to protect my family and my life and my world. Fat, take me to the other side. Protect me, protect us all. Let's go. Hum asraya fat. Power mantra, that's a power mantra. The next one, is equally powerful, which is Bagla Mukhi, Hleem. Hleem is, uh, in, in Dashma videos, it is Halareem, but here it is Hleem. Hleem is the Bija mantra of Bagla Mukhi. Hleem stops whatever bad or evil force is affecting you. Hleem. Ha represents prana or the power of Shiva as or the mother Mahamaya Kali. La represents the calming, that should be calming, stabilizing effect of the mother. And E is the primal sound of Shakti. So, Halim. So, every time you have troubles and you want things to stop bugging you and calm down and remove anger in you, Halim is a beautiful thing to sound. Halim. 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 And it also gives you, ironically, success. And it also removes obstacles. And it is Mars and is yellow. 
and is very good with haldi. So if you take turmeric with your food, it builds immunity and well-being. So drinking a glass of yellow turmeric liquid in the morning gives you vitality and immunity from everything. You know, I drink a glass of haldi every morning. It's very powerful, right? It's a beautiful way to start the day. It's just turmeric, yellow, bagla muki, halim, halim, halim. Drink it up. Boom. I'm clear. <laughs> That's a very good way I use to do energy work. So you just take a spoon of turmeric, put it in a glass of water, shake it up and drink it. That's it. Or hot water, even better, you know. And it, it also clears the stomach. It removes negative energy. It's very powerful, you know. And when you feel that you have a lot of negativity in your life, time to start wearing yellow clothes and chanting claim, all right? Wear yellow and chant claim or have yellow around you. It brings that power to you. It's a shakti of removing obstacles, removing blocks, yeah? Okay. Stream, which we, we know from the Dash Mahavidyas as Tara is also the sound for Durga. So Durga has two sounds, Trim, Srim and, and also Trim and Dum. Dum. But we won't do Dum because that's not a Bij mantra for Shakti. Stream is the Bij mantra for Durga and Tara. The high protective, high priestess of heaven, basically. She is the star gatekeeper. She keeps the star for you. And she's also the Manipura Chakra. So she is both the mother at the belly that nurtures the umbilical cord and also the mother that takes you to the other side. So ta, sta, sa represents the stability of pure being. Ta represents in the extension or spread of protection. Ra indicates fire. E is energy. So stream is the peace mantra. Shanti. Peace, nurturing, it brings tranquility, stream, stream, stream. While shream brings grace and golden energy, stream removes obstacles, nurtures you. When you're feeling low and down, streaming helps you come back to Tara in the belly. It's the, it's, she's the high priestess of wisdom. She's the wife of Jupiter, Brihaspati, and the star. She's called Rohini or Aldebaran as the high priestess of heaven. So if you see parallels in other traditions, you will see it as the star Aldebaran and Jupiter have a connection to her. And she heals during childbirth. She is the goddess of childbirth and women's health. And she gives all. Alex streaming Tara is for you. She is the one, you know. This is for all astrologers. Tara directs everything there. Then the last one of the 10 power dreams is Threem, which is the, the star, the third eye, the pulling of Tara at the other end. So Tara is at your belly and Tara is up in the third eye also. So Threem is the Tara mantra of fire or Tejas. Ta indicates rapid spread or crossing over. She helps you cross over. Ra indicates fire to propel, E, shooting to that other side. Threem is the sound of fire, inner fire. Threem is the bija sound of the Shakti, Tara or Tarini. That means also Tara, but on the third eye. Threem is the three, number three, which means that she bridges all duality and takes you back to the source, Tara, to Para or to Shiva. Threem opens the third eye and Threem takes us across difficulties. Dream, dream, dream. So one of the very good ways to do dream is to do the Jyoti Mudra and dream before doing the Jyoti Mudra and then look up and you will see the star will become clearer and clearer. Or when you're doing sun gazing in the morning, dreaming will give you power in the third eye to see the sun. She has the same power as dream. So stream and dream are interchangeable. And it, by the way, dream... Is, has a secret side benefit of abundance. So it, is, uh, it, it has a very strong power of abundance, basically. 